All right, guys, let's start working on the undercarriage or the frame. So let's select the bottom face and create a sketch. And we're gonna use the rectangle tool to kind of draw a center line, which we can easily use the line tool, but I wanna be difficult. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, the bottom isn't seen so much, so we have total freedom and we can pretty much do what we want down here. And I'm gonna trim off these side pieces to get that center line. Now with the two point rectangle tool, I'm just gonna draw a bunch of rectangular shapes. And it'll make sense uh, at the end what I'm gonna do. So just try to stay with me guys. And we're almost done with this video, uh, with these tutorial series guys. So if you guys stay with me this long, congratulations. Your product will be uh, looking flawless soon. Let's uh, create a mirror and I'm gonna mirror all these lines. So I'm gonna select everything except for the center line. And this can be kind of tedious at times just selecting all these lines, but it's, it'll be worth it. We've got a few more lines. Now for the mirror line, we're gonna choose that center line we created. And let's go to trim. And I wanna just trim off these access lines right down the center. And honestly, we don't even have to trim this. We can honestly just press pull the rectangles, but you know, I don't want you guys to copy my bad habits. So we're just trimming these off. Now we can right click it OK. And let's just start selecting all of these rectangles. And yes, I'm aware that we could have just uh, kept that mirror line and we could have just extruded all of one half and just mirrored it later on as it's the actual complete body. But like I said, in Fusion 360, there's a million ways to do something. It's just all about uh, choosing which one you want to do. And I just so happen to choose the long way. And now we're just going to press pull this profile and we're going to pull it down just uh, enough to see it because we want to give the illusion that there's actual uh, mechanisms down there and there's things going on. So on the backside of the tire, let's select that surface and create a sketch. And we can now go to fit a sketch to close this out. And also notice the, the sketch isn't on, so let's toggle that on so we can actually see that profile. Now we can select it and press pull it. And we're just gonna press pull it to the opposite tire. And we're gonna change it from join to new body. And I'm gonna do a nice little uh, cheat really quick. So I'm gonna uh, isolate this body we just created. And I wanna go to create a sketch in the front view. So I'll just go up here. Where are you? Create a sketch, select this surface. And now I wanna grab this line tool and create three vertical lines on one half of the pipe. So we're gonna control C, control V to duplicate this. And let's hit okay. And we'll hit control V to get another copy. And we'll slide it even further down on the right side. And before we finish sketch, let's go back to this and just slide this over a bit. Let's hit okay, let's go to modify split body. Let's select our pipe and let's deselect anything that's been selected. And we're gonna, for the splitting tool, we're gonna choose all three lines. So we get three different splits. And what we can now do is just press pull on any one of these cylindrical pieces and individually uh, offset it. So I'll choose this one, make this one even bigger. And the one all the way to the right, I think I'll make that smaller just to help with the breakup kind of fool the audience a bit. Now, I wanna split this in half, so I'll go to Modify, Split Body, choose this bar here, and I'll just choose this plane, just to ensure, so when we mirror it to the opposite end, that it's 100% symmetrical. So let's remove this. Now let's go to Modify, Chamfer, and let's start uh, manipulating some of these pipes for the breakup. That looks okay. Now let's hit F to go into fillet mode and I just wanna round off this edge here and this one. Let's bring these in together. And that looks good around here. Let's hit okay. And let's go to modify combine so we can combine these together. Click our combine icon. Now hit okay. Now what I wanna do is go to create mirror. And I'm gonna select this body. And for the mirror plane, I wanna choose this one right here. Now we can go to combine to combine these two. So one plus one equals one. Let's unisolate this. Now 
That actually looks pretty good. So let's duplicate this for the back wheel. So let's go to the layers and let's control C, control V this. And I want to go to the bottom view. So we'll select this bottom surface here and we'll drag the arrow down to better match the, the first one. And I'm not going to let my eyes fool me. So I'm going to actually zoom in and actually adjust this a bit closer. Let's hit OK, finalize that. Now on the side view, let's start getting some of this detail on the bottom. So let's create a sketch. Now I'm going to use the line tool. And I just start from here, go down at an angle, bring it to another angle, and this looks great. Let's use the fillet so we can get rid of the sharp edge. Now we can go to a finish sketch. And I'm going to create a pipe out of this. And this is how we have that freedom, guys. Like I said earlier, we can do whatever we want to do because not many people are going to see down here, or if any will at all. Change that to cut to new body. And let's go to the layers drop down. And I want to select this body so I can uh, move this and reposition it. So let's start turning this at an angle and have it out. And I'm pulling it out just so it catches people's eyes so they can see that there's something down there, although it really isn't. And I notice it's kind of short, so there's going to be that one guy that always sees it or says something. So I'm just going to press pull this so no one can see it. Because you're going to run to that one fanatic that knows everything about Jeeps. And he's going to, hey, that doesn't go down there. So just to avoid that. Now let's select the bottom surface and create a sketch. Now we're going to use the spline tool. And we're just going to do whatever we want again. And I'm just going all over the place with this to create some actual uh, pipage. It's a weird name. Now, let's finish sketch. And I'm going to create a pipe once again and select our line we just created. And I think I'm satisfied with this size. So let's just change it from cut to new body and hit OK. Now let's go to the layers. And I just want to move this down a bit. So let's right click, go to move, drag this down so people can see it. Hey, people, look at me. I exist. Now we're going to hit OK to finalize this. And let's just click this ending area of the pipe so we can press pull this. And I want to press pull this all the way down to the back so it's sticking out. Yep, don't be afraid. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll pull it all the way to the back. So someone thinks it's like a muffler or something like that. Who knows? And then I'm going to select this ending surface once again. I'm going to create a sketch, grab my offset tool. And I'm just going to select the outer edge. Let's drag this inwards. Give it a little bit of thickness. Now we can press pull it inwards. So it looks like there's some actual depth. And that hole actually leads them somewhere. Now back in the front, we're going to select this surface here on the side and create a sketch. And I want to use my two, my uh, circle diameter circle tool here to create a circle. And I'm just going to press pull this to the opposite end as well, just to create uh, further breakup and intricacy. Make sure that's on join, hit OK. Now back in the side view, let's create another sketch. And I want to use my two point rectangle here. And I think this is the exhaust. I don't know the proper name for it. I'm not really a mechanic, but we're going to create this uh, rectangular shape. And now I'm going to go to uh, press pull this, give it a little bit of thickness. And that looks fine right here. So let's change it from cut to new body. Now we can hit OK. And let's hit F to go into fillet mode. And I want to round all four of these edges off so it looks nice and smooth. And this is fine right here. So let's hit OK. And on the left, let's select the body. And let's right click, go to move. So we can start repositioning this. And I want this to be a landmark that people can actually see. So I'm moving it closer to the edge. And let's rotate this a bit to give it more realism. And I want to angle this as well. So let's just slant it. Let's pull this out a bit more so people can, uh, so it can catch their eyes. Now I want to go back into fillet mode. I want to round off these edges. One, two. There you are. Now we can round this off, soften that up. Now typically you want to just select this back face and create a sketch. But in this case, it might be easier just to go underneath and select this face and create a sketch. 
now we can actually see what we're doing. So we can use the line tool or the spline tool, which I prefer to use so we can add more uh, intricacy to it. So let's start uh, just doing stuff. And we want it to go through that rectangular body above. So this is fine here. And let's just finish sketch. And we're gonna go to create pipe, select our line or spline, and let's upscale this. Cause this is actually gonna be the the pipe coming out of the exhaust. So change it to new body and hit OK. Now we can go to the layer and we can move this. And let's drag it up. And I also want to drag it more to the right. So it's hanging out. And this already at an angle because of the face we selected. So this is perfect. Now we can select the back face here and create a sketch. Let's grab our offset tool. Or we can use the circle diameter circle. And I want to make this a bit bigger, so I'll pull this apart, select the new profile, and press pull this inwards like we did previous. Change the cut. Now we have our nice cut there. And I'm going to combine these pieces together. So one, two, equals one. Ta-da. Let's hit F to go to fillet mode. I want to round off this area here so it looks like it's been welded together. Let's hit OK. And let's fill it these edges here just to soften it up and we're done.